Well, you're not taking any pictures, I don't hope. I'm taking 60 pictures a, a second. Video. Oh <laughs> How's it going guys? I'm against it press and we are coming to you today from Hankinson, North Dakota. Um, Hankinson is a very small town south of Fargo, um, just north of the South Dakota state border. And uh, we are at the city hall slash library today. Uh, both are in the same building. And we're just gonna pay a little visit on these folks here and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. Um, I am out with Watch and Watchman today and I have my favorite brand new shirt on. And uh, let me give you a look at the city hall here. And we never miss an opportunity to recognize old glory waving in the very gentle breeze here in Hankinson, as she should. P-O-W-M-I-A, not forgotten, never forget. Let me give you a little look around the neighborhood here. And while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Today is Tuesday, May 11th. It is 1.27 in the afternoon, and it is 59 degrees, sunny and beautiful in Hankinson, North Dakota. Clock down there says 67 degrees. Apple says 59. How you making out, Watchman? What's up? Welcome to Hankinson. So I guess it looks like this half's the library, that half's the city hall. So uh, which one do you want to check out first? I don't know, what do you think? And they are open, right? It's Tuesday, they are open from eight to 12 and one to five and it's 1.30. So yep, we're good. Let's go check out city hall. Well, this is a cool old building. Please limit your time in the library to 15 minutes or less. Yeah. Wonder what's up with that. Well, let's see what's going on in here. City Hall. Yeah. How you doing? Good. good. How's it How going? You? Doing good, thanks. Just checking out your City Hall. Boy, you're not taking any pictures, I don't hope. I'm taking 60 pictures a, a second. Video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never been in Hackinson before. Oh, where, where are you from? Colorado. What are you doing in Hankinson? We were actually just in Fargo, and we're headed back down south, so we just needed to stop and stretch our legs and do that kind of thing. So we like to stop in little towns and just see what's going on. And yeah? It's interesting. Real exciting. video, what do you... Because we're, we're traveling the country. This is my son. Okay, hi. So we're just documenting our trip. Okay. And it's not, I think it's nice to meet the folks that make the wheels turn and, you know... You've got them things running, don't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Yeah, yeah, Bob, you guys are all smiles, having a great day, nothing wrong with that. Hey? So where in Colorado are you from? Uh, it's about 45 minutes south of Denver. It's a little town called Franktown. Okay, my sister-in-law is in Colorado Springs. Colorado, there you go. That's about an hour south, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Colorado Springs is nice. Yeah, but it's not really Colorado anymore. Uh, yeah. It's kind of changed a little bit, but everything's changing. Got to, yeah. got to roll with it, right? I've never been there. Never been to Colorado? Yeah. It's worth going. I've never even been on an airplane. I haven't been anywhere. Wow. <laughs> so you were born and raised in Hankinson? I, I was born here, yep, and, and I grew up in town here, yep. Yeah. Well, Left for, for school and came back about 20 years later, probably, 25 years later. Well, I'll tell you what, with everything going on in the world, not a bad place to be. Yeah. All right? You guys seem like you're a little probably isolated and... Kind of do your own thing and you know, right get yeah, to we graduated high school together actually and did you yeah very cool now you get to work together yep, yep. i hope you like each other yeah. very cool <laughs> do your husband do your husbands get along if you're married yes yeah there you go that's important too yeah. right yeah, yeah right on yeah. 
Yeah. No, it's cool. I just we just think this stuff's fascinating because I mean, if you just sit home and watch the news and yeah. talk to the same people you live next door to for you know whole life. Yeah. I mean, I know you guys are you're kind of hanging out in your town, but you know, I always wished I grew up in a small town. I think there's something very nice about it. Where else, where else have you stopped in town? We just pulled into town five minutes ago. Oh, First yeah, stop. Pub's kind of cool, but it's closed. That's kind of yeah. cool on outside. We always go right to City Hall. Okay. We kind of like the units. Like I said, we like to meet the local people, and people are making the wheels turn. And <laughs> face of the city. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to use that. Yeah. Yeah, but no, it seems like a cool little. I can little show you place. the community center if you want to see that. It's pretty cool. Sure. Yeah, I'd love to see it's it. It's just, I can walk down. It's just like the kitty corner across the tracks. Sure. It's a really cool facility. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love I'll to take a look at it. There. Cool. Thanks. A lot of weddings. I like to show it off. Graduations and community events are held there. Right on. What do people rent it out or is it? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. Oh, you're a lot taller than you look sitting down. <laughs> I grew. Did you play basketball in high school? Volleyball. volleyball. There you go. Yep. Right on. Very cool. Basketball player and volleyball. Yeah, I was volleyball. Cool. Basketball. Very cool. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I know. I'd love to walk down there yeah. and check it out. That's yeah, awesome. Walk Great. Or... Well, welcome to town. Thank you. We appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, go ahead. After you. Park. Oh, right here in the parking lot, but I I'll, I can walk if you. Okay, I don't mind walking. Down there. Yeah, very cool. Building, they, it's all original buildings from like the early 1900s, and then we added a big um, addition on the back, like the main hall. But the the front buildings are all kind of original. Very cool. I you can't I can't tell you how much I appreciate you doing this for us. Oh yeah, no, yeah. I like to show it off. <laughs> very cool. No, this is like a progressive little community. I mean, most towns around here are kind of dying and stores are closing down, the buildings are kind of falling apart, but Hankston does a good job of kind of remodeling everything. And it, well, lot, yeah. it got a lot of new businesses. We got, I don't know, I mean, we got a dollar store now and the grocery store is fairly new. Yeah, no, I, you know, I noticed that when I pulled into town, everything does look very well maintained, for sure. But yeah, we got a good commercial club that really tries to bring people in and they got like, there's a little development on the east side of town. I think we have a couple businesses coming in. That's awesome. After we leave, you're going to get a bunch of phone calls saying, who are those guys following you around with the cameras? Yeah, probably. <laughs> He's probably getting calls right now. Yeah. I think it's cool. We've actually, uh, we just turned 35,000 miles oh, driving. Really? Yeah. So is this the first stop in North Dakota? No, we were in uh, Dickinson. Did you go Medora? No, we went Dickinson, oh. Bismarck, and then Fargo, and then headed south this down to here. Cool town. You should have went to Medora. You missed out. M Medora. Well, we'll be back. Medora is about, is it like 45 minutes to an hour west of Dickinson? Okay. It's a really cool little, like, kind of a westerny town but so it's on the border it's like 10 15 miles from the border probably. okay very cool yeah no, i'll check that out we've been in 32 states in the past 18 months oh wow yeah well, this is... oh this is cool yeah is this something that was just recently redone or um 2012 2012 cool it was finished and opened was it like all old and decrepit before they... Yeah. You know? Well, there was a bar here for quite a few years. That was the last tenant. There's like kind of some progression pictures of it. Was that the sign from the bar? No, this was actually next to City Hall. This bar was next to City Hall. Oh, gotcha. But that's a cool sign. So. That is a cool sign. Yeah. The uh, American Pickers would love to find that, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's pretty cool. It was mostly volunteer hours. So this is kind of when it, the building was built in 1906. Kind of shows how it went throughout the years. Oh, and this is in time progression. That's cool. Yeah. 1920s. Yeah, it's kind of like that. 1920s. 1940s. All right, here's a. Here's one with a bar. It was a drugstore before that. Yeah, it's pretty cool to look back at all the different things it's been. It is, and it's nice that they maintain the integrity of the outside of the building, you yeah. know, the design they and everything. Yeah, they were going to do like a whole new building across the street in that parking lot. I'm glad they like did. a big metal building, yeah. boring, so this yeah. is a lot more character. No, this is great. And this is the hall, I guess, yeah. everybody? Yeah. Cool. We got a wedding in here this weekend. So people go to City Hall and pull a permit or pay you, I guess? No, and... I think wherever they live, like Fargo or whatever, 
I think they get their permit for like the marriage license. But oh, people come here from Fargo to get married. Oh, yeah. Really? It's a lot cheaper. I think they spend tens of thousands of dollars. It's probably a thousand dollars to rent this for a whole weekend. Gotcha. That's so, cool. Very cool. Yeah, we get a lot and lot more Fargo weddings and. People and that's good them. when people do that because then they're helping out with the reconstruction yep. costs and all that and kind of donating to the town a little bit. Cool. There's some old stuff in the back here. Yeah, they've got commercial kitchen and then our region around the bar. They love doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Always volunteers to run the bar, right? Oh, yeah. And there's like an old bank door and there's some um, kind of neat pictures. This looks like something you get at like Hobby Lobby or Kirkland's, but I think it's original. Kind of neat, like from the old hotel. Oh, oh yeah, keys. keys on there. That's cool. Yeah. That's awesome. And then there's a picture that has like all the. Look at that. The phone number at the city livery was uh, two seven two. Yeah. <laughs> there's like um, business people from Hankinson. It has like livery, general merchant. So it's kind of cool. Oh, it tells what they yeah. Yeah. Let's see if I can get out of the glare there. It's kind of hard. That's very cool. I'm so glad you brought us in. Here. Yeah. I don't know what else is cool in this town. I mean, there's some little. Uh, it's all cool to us. Yeah, that yeah. club is really neat. It was an old church. But they're closed, you said? If there's cars in the back, someone might be in the kitchen working, they'd probably let you in. Okay. But otherwise, if there's no cars, it's probably not open. What, is this a grain? That's an sugar? elevator. We do want an elevator. Um, there's a candy. I don't think the candy store is open. You can come back up this way. Yeah, there's nobody there, but the store down here... It's like one of the, I think there's two places in the United States that you know the suckers where they print like Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're like only two places in the United States that print those suckers. And it's, that's have, one of them? Yep. Wow. But it, nobody's there today, it looks like. So that's kind of interesting. What do the kids do around here to stay out of trouble? There's, that's the one thing we're lacking. <laughs> Stuff for kids to do. Um, in the summertime, there's a lake about two miles south Oh, of that's town. cool. That's a really nice lake. You can drive around there. There's a cool... Um, it's called the American Legion Learning Center. It's like a big red barn. Okay. And there's kind of a path that goes in a figure eight. So there's like community gardens and they're building an amphitheater. There's a big like memorial site. It's really cool. Um, big enough lake for a boat or is it just oh, yeah. swimming? Yeah, nice. Yep. Right on. Yep. I don't know. I mean, in school, the kids keep busy with activities, just like sports and stuff, but there's not, they don't have like a bowling alley or Yeah, and I'd there. imagine there's probably not that many jobs available either, right? No, not really. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta put them to work at home, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's it. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. We're gonna head back your way anyway, because I want to go into the library and check that out. Oh, yeah. But, yeah that's cool. cool. We just kind of remodeled the inside of that probably 10 years ago. What's the uh, limit your visit to the library to 15 minutes thing all about? I think that's COVID. She, oh, she'll let you stay I got you. more than 15 minutes. Gotcha. So, I guess the city is not doing the mask thing anymore. Are you guys done with that? or? Um, we kind of leave it up to everybody and that each business kind of has their own deal. But I mean like the city hall, municipalities, you're not No, we, we kind of, no, no, we kind of leave it up to whoever comes in. Very cool. Yeah. This town's getting better and better by the minute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now it really is awesome. I think, you know, a lot of people travel and they go to like, you know, people want to go to Disney World. They want to yeah. go to like... Las Vegas and like all things yeah. like I like going to little towns in the yeah. middle of nowhere and where you know where else am I going to meet somebody like you that's going to show me things that I've, <laughs> it's nice yeah no this is a nice town we're proud of it there's a, a lot of people in town that really push to make it better and that's very cool yeah we got a housing development if you keep follow the street on the right before you take the curve there's a housing development I think um 2017 they put the first house up and I thought there'd be maybe two houses for 10 years and I think they're on like the seventh or eighth home. Wow. So to build brand new houses in town is kind of kind of cool. You know, it tells you that people are moving back. You know what they're selling for? Um, like 250 to 350. That's not cheap. No. Must be nice houses. Yeah, they're nice. And we have a, a housing authority. We put like a, a triplex up down there. Then, well, all the other communities around you must be jealous. I think they don't like us. <laughs> I'm sure it sounds like it. But that's all right. Maybe you'll uh, inspire them to step it up a little bit. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think there's a little jealousy, but I think we're just active community and city council and stuff. So. Yeah, no, it's a great little town, and it is. The more I'm walking around, it is very clean and very yeah. kept up, and yeah, it's nice. 
And I'm sorry, what was your first name again? Angie. Angie, Jason. Okay. Ben. Ben, nice Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. I really can't thank you enough. Yeah. You made uh, our stop here in Hankinson. Worth it? Great. Yeah, no. Really did. I wish all uh, communities were this friendly. Yeah. Oh, oh some people, we've been thrown out of city halls oh, for cameras. Really? Oh, people get mad and start yelling at you. We're kind of nervous when you're watching the cameras, but. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm an old guy. When I was a kid, you walk around, somebody was walking around with a camera, everybody jump in front of it and say, hi, mom. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. no big deal. Now all of a sudden everybody's scared of their own shadow. I don't yeah. know what that is. But thank you, Angie. We appreciate yeah, you. Anything else? All righty, cool. Thanks. Have, Have a great day. Trip. After you. Hello. 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 How are you? Fine, thanks. We're just checking out your little town here. Angie just walked us down to the community center, and that's very cool. Yeah, so we <laughs> figured we'd stop in and see the library. Just take a quick look and see what you got going on here, and just so uh, I can say I saw everything. Very cool. No, it really is nice that you keep the library going. I'm glad to see that. And so now it's if it's yellow, it's young it's young adult so the yellow book ends are young adult so like seventh grade on up the green are from like seventh grade down to kindergarten the red are picture books but basically picture books for me means they don't have page numbers on it and then the rest is um the black is uh adult fiction my husband laughs at me when i say that and then this is the new arrivals <laughs> and then i have nonfiction. It with the kids is orange, and then the nonfiction for adults, of course, is still just black. I just so said black for all the adults. Age dependent, you can just say go over there and look at the yellow stuff, yeah. and yeah, that's cool. So it's easier for them to find out. Well, well, who figured back then? You figured I don't need to know about computers. Well, I some? knew you needed to. I just didn't. I wasn't smart enough to. I mean, it was math and science and stuff, and that wasn't. I. Well, you shouldn't say you weren't smart enough. Just math and science isn't your thing. That wasn't my thing. Yeah. I just at that time. You're I probably smarter smart than enough. most in some other area. Well, maybe. Yeah. I, probably not. <laughs> well, who knows? Maybe you have a hidden talent you haven't discovered <laughs> haven't yet, discovered right? Yet. <laughs> who that's knows? That's a possibility. Who knows? That's what I'm maybe. hoping for. <laughs> maybe. Well, all right. I'll let you go because we got to keep moving down a road here. But I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us and show us your beautiful library. I think you're doing a great job. And I hope the folks here appreciate you. Well, I think so. Good. I think they do. Right on. All righty. Well, you have a wonderful day. And I'm sorry, your first name again? Lynette. Lynette. I'm so sorry about that. Jason. Okay. Pleasure to meet you. Thanks. Nice to meet you. All right, you have a good day. Yep, you too. Thank you. Thanks. Lynette threw us out in 14 minutes. Oh, no, okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, no, I just want to say thank you, ladies. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for taking yeah. us down there. It was a great stop, and we had a lot of fun. and appreciate right. you. Yeah, Thanks. Well. All right, ladies, thank you very much. Thank we can't, can't tell you how much I appreciate you. If we yeah, come back through, we'll come by and see you again. Good. Thank you. Have fun on your trip. Thank you. Have a good day. Well, all right, guys. Um, fine example of what should be going on across the country. Um, I mean, this is, wouldn't it be ideal if this is just the way it went everywhere? And why shouldn't it? Um, makes no sense. So, you know, I always like to say these videos. Uh, might not be the most exciting thing when they go well like this and we actually have a good encounter and a good experience um, But I think this is important because this is the end goal and this is the world we all want to live in I think at least it's the world I want to live in um, It's nice when people are this way and you feel welcomed and nobody's calling the cops on you and there's no hysteria and drama um, You know you younger folks watching uh, Probably won't remember but the world used to be that way um, and I barely remember it. So uh, it's nice. It's nice to be in little towns like this. And I encourage you guys, if you can get out there and travel, even if you can only go 100 miles from your house, whatever it is, get out there and see something different. Go to a small town, go talk to people, go see what's going on, go visit some uh, places you've never been before. Uh, get your head out of the TV and uh, feel good, man. It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful country out there. There's some wonderful people out there still. You just gotta go out and find them because they're not gonna come find you. Um, but yeah, great experience, and uh, I highly recommend anybody wants to come to Hankinson, very wonderful people. Just make sure you come one day when the pub's open, and uh, if you're looking to buy a house here, bring your checkbook. But uh, that's it. So always like to remind you, if you enjoy these videos and you like what we do, and you want to support what we do, 
Best way for you to do that hands down is to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff gets our videos out to more and more people so more people can watch them, enjoy them, and hopefully learn a little something. We're out here learning and having new experiences every day. And uh, it's wonderful and I wouldn't trade it for the world. Get to spend time with the watchman here. And uh, I can't say enough good things about Hankinson. So guess we're gonna hop back in the truck, head down the road and see what else is around in the area here. Um, so that's it. Um, trying to think what else I guess that's that's gonna wrap it up here I mean I'm just I'm very surprised that we, you know it's very rare that you have these wonderful interactions so uh, just a little taken aback but it was a good stop um, so coming to you from Hankinson North Dakota at the City Hall slash library watching a watchman Amagansett Press we'll catch you on the next one guys out